Hi, meteorologist Tony Petraka in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the uh, Weather Now link with a quick uh, mid-afternoon update. It's around uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, beautiful day. A little on the windy side, but you've noticed the humidity is a lot lower. It's very dry and refreshing. Not nearly as warm as yesterday, but still nice. Uh, most locations coming in close to 70 this afternoon. Uh, lots of sunshine as we uh, take a look outside. And uh, here in East Providence, you look at the... Uh, Providence skyline. Lots of sunshine right now. And you've noticed uh, probably some little white caps on the uh, water. Wind has been gusty up, uh, up to uh, 30 miles per hour at times, but those winds have been driving in very low humidity, dry air, and uh, keeping the sunshine around. So yeah, we're looking pretty good and really no weather issues for this evening. Uh, we take a look at uh, the high temperatures so far today, topping out pretty much as expected, upper 60s to lower 70s. Uh, 69 so far in Providence, uh, 72 the high in um, Taunton. And even along the coastline, uh, temperatures pretty mild in the upper 60s to uh, lower 70s. Satellite photo showing just uh, some high thin clouds streaming through, but uh, most of New England, at least central and southern New England, is fine. You notice the extra clouds and some mountain sprinkles and showers up towards Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont, but we're looking pretty good. Storm that's been making national news, an outbreak of severe weather. You can clearly see that now spinning across uh, the central plains at uh, numerous um, tornadoes. At last check in the last uh, 24 hours, there you see the, those icons. About two dozen tornadoes uh, touching down. Some of that moisture in a, a non-severe way headed our way for part of Thursday. That's our next chance of bringing in um, any showers. And you can see that storm is actually separating two distinct air masses. Uh, summertime warmth in the southeast. And you can see uh, the colder air through places like Denver and the uh, Rockies. And yeah, even some uh, snow. In some of the higher elevations, Denver had some snow as well. So that storm system is essentially uh, really splitting two different air mass. Uh, comfortable for this evening, plenty of sunshine. Look at the uh, the sunset time now. We're into the 8 o'clock hour, uh, mid to upper 60s at 7 o'clock in the evening. With sunshine, will cool to the mid-50s by 11 o'clock. The wind will slowly diminish. Tomorrow looks nice. Not as much wind, dry, comfortable Wednesday morning. Lots of sunshine initially starting off in the uh, 50s early in the morning and then during the afternoon much like today around 70 only this time around we don't have um, as much uh, wind but uh, plenty of sunshine and on the comfortable side of course all eyes on the weekend it's the uh, the long holiday weekend memorial day weekend and you know early call on it now is that well the good news we don't have any storms um, saturday sunday monday uh, we don't have any rainouts or washouts all three days, but we do have at least the chance for some uh, some scattered showers. I think the um, the goal here is to try to, and we're still several days out, obviously, is to try to nail down the timing of these showers, more of a morning, more of an afternoon, more of a nighttime kind of a deal. So check back with us. So despite the chance of a, of a couple of showers over the holiday weekend, we don't see a washout. And the uh, forecast challenge will be to try to time out when those showers will occur. So check back with us. My forecast coming up tonight on Eyewitness News starting at 5 o'clock. I'll be back again at 10 and 11 o'clock this evening with the latest. So that's your Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in, and we'll talk to you soon.